Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is another very sparkly card. I've used the Art Gallery stamp set together with the Floral Gallery dies and I've also used some of the paper from the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper pack and these are all coordinating products. Now the lovely glisten on the main image and on the paper is created using gilding flakes and I'm going to show you how I did that. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project so if you're interested in reproducing it take a screenshot so you can refer to it later. I'm going to use Versamark ink to stamp my floral image and I'm just stamping on normal weight Whisper White card. I'm going to cover this with a powdered glue and this is our heat and stick powder. So the Versamark ink will hold it in place until it's heated and melted. The gilding flakes that I'm using today are not from Stamping Up, but Stamping Up have just started selling gold gilding flakes. Before you start applying these, make sure your work area is clear because they go all over the place. I'll be applying the flakes using a brush and I find this is the easiest tool to use with them. I have to melt the heat and stick powder first of all, so I'm going to move my flakes right out of the way. The heat and stick powder melts really quickly and you want to keep heating it until the powder goes from white to clear. I'm picking up some of the flakes using my brush and I'm going to dab this all over my image. And then once I think my image is more or less covered, I'm going to use a swirling motion to remove all the excess. And this is how beautiful it looks. I have a mat of the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper here and I'm going to add some more gilding flakes to some of the flowers. I'm covering all of the larger ones and some of the smaller ones. This is the Art Gallery stamp set and I'm using this larger image today and the smaller one. I'm going to start by stamping over all of the larger flowers with Versamark ink and then I'm going to cover with powder, melt it and apply the gilding flakes just as I did before on the main image. Now once that's done I'll go back and stamp over the smaller images and repeat the process. You can't do this all in one, get, one go because the panel is too large and the heat and stick powder will set before you have time to add the flakes to everything.
I'm using Flirty Flamingo ink to stamp the sentiment onto some scrap Whisper White card. The main image and the sentiment will be die cut using dies from the Floral Gallery die set. I've also created a bumblebee mat and for this I used one of the dies from the Hippo and Friends die set and it's this middle size one. I'm going to layer my designer series paper mat onto a flirty flamingo mat and I'm not going to layer this straight, I'm going to put it at a slight angle. I'm marking the position for the ribbon on the back of the flirty flamingo mat and this is at the halfway point. Now I'm going to attach my Bumblebee Gingham ribbon using tear and tape adhesive. So I'm just adding little strips over those pencil marks and then I can remove the backing and add my ribbon. Now to secure it further I'm just going to add some additional strips of tear and tape over the top. I'm going to place my main floral image flat on the little bumblebee mat and I want it positioned on the left hand side and then I've added dimensionals onto the back of the little sentiment piece and this will be placed on the right hand side. I can then remove the backings from the dimensionals that I placed on the back of the bumblebee mat and position this across my gingham ribbon. Then I can tie my ribbon into a nice little bow and just trim off the excess. My card base is in Bumblebee and this is half a standard sheet of card scored in the middle and folded to create a portrait card. For inside the card I have a Whisper White mat and a strip of the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper that matches the front. And that's my card complete. And here's another look at my original card. The contrast colour I used here was Poppy Parade. 
Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.